and we are back and we're actually at the tower right now because uh, apparently the button I use to turn on my capture is also the same button that uh, quick loads me so brought me back to the tower um, I what I went ahead and did I just went back to that river area and I actually grabbed my books so yeah I actually have the two books now uh, there's One Chance to Die, and then Jane Eyre. So yeah, I have those books now. Oh, flip on the lights. Now let's flip it off. Uh, I have those two books now, so yeah. The, that mission got completed, and yeah, it wasn't really that great. So it was just me running back and forth. Anyways, now on to the real mission, Smoke of Fire. Or, uh, yeah, the fire. So I think I just need to run towards Josie Lake again. So let's go that way. I can just go. <laughs> Whoa, what? What is this over here? It's just like a clearing, kind of. Not really. Like, why is it like this? What is going on? Okay, long drop. Again, I would probably twist my ankle. Ruby River. Do I want to go to the Ruby River? No, I want to go. Huh. There's this area down here that's been interesting me. Medicinal rock or whatever. Oh. Um, wow, there's wheel. an old, um, I think it's called a medicine wheel out here? Yeah, it was made by Crow American Indians hundreds of years ago. There are lots of small ones. Um, have you ever been to Medicine Wheel Monument over in the Bighorns? Well, I sure haven't. Well, it's worth a three-hour detour on the way home in August. Uh, neat. I'll keep it in mind. <laughs> hey, I'm at the medicine wheel, and I can't see the smoke anymore. Where am I headed again? Towards Five Mile Creek. It's in the southwest quadrant of your map. Okay, heading over there now. Hmm. So, I went the wrong way, I guess. I need to go this way. Five Mile Creek. I guess Josie Lake, Two Forks, Ruby River. Oh, this looks kind of familiar. Ah, oh, calling the smoke. What are you going to do when the fire season wraps up? Are you going to go be with her? Just go back to Boulder? Uh, maybe I'll go visit. I don't know. Well, why not? She's with her family in Melbourne. They're not big fans of mine. Yeah. Oh. Her sister, Susan, is great, but her parents, I uh, think they always thought she could do better. And... That I could have done a better job looking after her. Fuck that. I have no doubt you did your best. I don't know. If you want to go visit her, you should go. Don't let a couple of assholes keep you away from someone you love. I'll think about it. Yeah. Yeah, Delilah. You tell Henry what to do, because he's amazing. Now let's talk about Cripple Gulch. I'm down by Cripple Gulch. You ready to give it another shot? <sighs> do I seriously have to? To get down to Five Mile Creek? Yeah, afraid so. It's quite a ways downhill from here. Uh. Going down Purple Gulch. Maybe this time the rope will be fine. Maybe that creepy guy will come back and cut the rope. Am I fine? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. Hearing stuff. Rope hook. Oh, rope hook. There's the rope hook right there. This is the original clearing that they were at. Oh, what's up here? Or is this gonna take me back? Henry, 
What are you doing? There we go, Henry. Good job. Man, like every single time you think there's gonna be something in here, there's nothing. Mile Creek, I'm right there. So, not towards Josie Lake, I need to go somewhere else. Or, I need to go back to that uh, that one real quick. So, let's go. <sighs> okay. This is a nice little view right here. I like this. Yeah. Using up my photo camera. Man, it gets really dark when you get to certain areas. Also, kind of gets a little creepy. Supply cache. One, two, three, four. What's in this one? How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area, the thoroughfare, because it's so remote. What? Hmm. Kind of creepy. I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a PTSD dayhole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized down. it was a bad Sneaky idea. PTSD? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army. He was off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Damn. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I'd talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. Hmm. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's, uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Yeah. Also, uh, by Wait, what I'm it looks like on paid? this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. What's to the south of here? Um, Mexico? Is this some sort of riddle? What? I just have a nice view to the south. You know, trees and mountains forever. Well, eventually you'll wander into the area overseen by Chimney Rock Lookout, but that's probably an impossible hike in terms of terrain. Might as well shop the birds. Huh. 
<sighs> I don't know if these pictures actually do anything, but like, you, you have the camera, might as well use it. That kind of thing. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Site and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? That seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down and don't let them see you. What a job this is. I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. <laughs> what on earth are you... It's another one of those magazines. <laughs> huh, pants are back. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, pants are back? Well, according to the experts at Teen Zone magazine, Wait. it's unclear where they've been. Yeah. The where pants, I mean? Uh, what? I don't get why the hunks have to be so dangerous. Well, you're clearly not a young woman. <laughs> Girls should want nice hunks. Ugh, boring. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive Stop little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. Oh, the beer's all gone. <gasps> my sheets! Ah, found my sheets! So they did break into your tower. Looks like... Maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not good. Um. Um. Their tent looks like it's been through the shredder. What could have done that? Like a, like a bear or, um... I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it, did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. Yeah, that would probably be a good idea. Um. Well, they're gone, for sure. Dear Psycho, hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped up, creeped on us in the lake and came out and destroyed our campsite and all our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross and out. You're probably going to mental fucking axe murder and so you're going to jail? Hope it's worth being a jerk over some fireworks, dick. How can you tell? Well, the girls left someone. Me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? I need to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, <laughs> did you? Um. No, well, I, I didn't. No, I stole their booze. Okay, someone or something went to town here, but I it wasn't that. me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. Yeah, I took their whiskey back at the lake, but that just felt like. I don't know, the cost of doing business. That's different, okay? And I don't blame you. This is, I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's its okay. I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Day three. Man, that was only day two. Oh my god, this game. Okay. Well, you know what? That was day two. We'll start day three next time. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And we will definitely come back. Um, this is kind of getting weird. So... Where did the girls go? And
And also, who was that guy still? Like, not, a lot of questions. And then there was the fence thing. Yeah. A lot of questions, not enough answers. Um, yeah. Hope you guys, uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And I will, or, uh, I will see you guys later.